Hey, my little hatchlings, this is Brown Robin Bird here once again. Here to, well, I don't know if I do these type of videos anymore, but, um, um, I'm gonna be doing another tutorial. Recently, two people, one from my social media and one on Discord, asked me how I got the original Angry Birds 1.0 version. And those people were Tiffany Fisher Artist on Discord, shout out to her, and Angry Birds Plush Central on Instagram, shout out to him. And today I'm going to be showing you how to get Angry Birds running on your newer Android device. Yes, I said Android because it was originally supposed to be working on an iPhone, aka iPod or iPad, whatever. But you have to be jailbroken for that, which I am not. So today I'm going to show you how to get it on Android. So I'm going to exit out of here and go to my um, Samsung Galaxy version. I'm on Android 1.0. I'm on Android 4.4, sorry. I don't know why I said 1. But, so I'm gonna go to my Android 4. Point, God dang it, I'm gonna go to my Android, um... Uh, it's, I'm gonna go to my Samsung Galaxy, and I'm gonna show you how to get it right now. So now that you're on your newer device, like myself, you want to download... The first thing you wanna do is you wanna download this app right here called Vimos Pro. I, I already have it installed, so I don't know why it says install when I already have it. I think it was a different version, I don't know. So, you want to click the install button, wait for it to install, and then open up the app. I'm going to go get on it right now. Okay, so I'm on the app right now, and you can see my little thing that I just post, that I just brought up earlier. Um, but if you don't have this, that means, um... You might have to get it yourself, like I had to do. So, what you want to do is you see the plus button on the where the where the diamond is, chaos emerald, whatever. <laughs> um, you want to tap on the plus button. It's taking a while. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So there you go. Um. Uh. Once you have it, um, you want to install. You can install any type of version of Android you want. See right here. This has a. Uh, right but I wouldn't recommend you use Android 4.4. But hey, what does this do? Oh, let's continue. Um, so, uh. Oh, whoops. So, um. If, if you don't have Android 4.4 Lite. You want to find it down here, and I'm going to use this for example. If you have, if you want, if you want any, I'd recommend 4.4. But if you want any Android version, you just tap on down. As you see right there, it's downloading the ROM. It go, go away. It's downloading fine. It actually might take a while. Okay, so now that your ROM is finished downloading, you want to tap on add and then it'll start running the emulator. So if you if you already use this and if it says continue, you could just click on continue. And then you could just have you have to wait. Go away. You might have to wait a long time. Okay, so now it might pop up right here if you already have it installed. So um, you can just click on. It might say just click on enter. So uh, okay, so um, now you want to go to the link in the description, and it'll take you here. It, it has a different version of Vmos, which I have, which I highly recommend. And Vmos 1.0. And it has 1.0 of Angry Birds right here. So you click on the download button. Right, it's loading. And then click install. 
I already have it installed, so, uh, yeah. If you know how to work APKs, you just, um, download the file, tap on the file, tap on install, and then it'll install. But then, you want to go back to your Android 4.4 thing, so let's go back to that. Okay, now, you're on your, uh, now that you're back on your Android 4.4 thing, you want to go to, you want to tap here and... You either want to go to, you either want to go to either, uh, file transfer, or import. I'm gonna go to tra file transfer. Tap on I want to import, and, um, I have different versions of Angry Birds. I'm, I, I, I'm trying to get rid of some of them. And, uh, you want to find where it says, you, you, you just Angry Birds, but with a different ver- If you can't tell the difference, because you have a bunch of Angry Birds apps, it's a, it's basically just the Angry Birds classic thing, but classic app icon, but pixelated. So you want to tap on import, and for example, I'm going to go on this thing I have, Angry Birds Full, it's just a little, it's not a mod, something I edited. And I'll start importing. Once it says su successfully installed, you want to, uh, you have to do the same thing for Angry Birds 1.0. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete this. Because that's not necessary, yes. And once you have it opened, um, you want to tap on Angry Birds and... Boom! There you go! You finally have Angry Birds running on your newer device and an old device at the same time. So, um... But there is one problem, though. Um, for some reason on this port, once you finish this level, and, um, you want... and you get the second cutscene where you defeat Corporal Pig, the game crashes, but the, but luckily it doesn't, it doesn't delete your data, so you can continue on. I got all three stars in all levels, by the way, as you saw in that last video I made. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and shout out to Angry Birds Plush Central and Tiffany Fisher Artist for asking me this important question. I mean, not really important, but, um, yeah. It's, um, that simple. Just, I mean, I don't know if it's really simple to all of you guys, but I'm just gonna hope it is. So again, thank you all for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Shout out to those two people I mentioned in this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye, my little hatchlings.